American Handgunner Insider. Hey folks, Tom McHale with American Handgunner Magazine. On this episode of Insider, we are going to check out something new from the folks at Excess Sites. Now, you may be familiar with the whole big dot concept. Uh, it's not a new idea. It dates back to Western and, and even earlier times. You know, a lot of the old cowboy carbines uh, used a similar sighting system, and that is a round dot of some sort, usually brass bead back in the day, uh, up front, and a shallow ramp. Think of a real shallow V in the back. And the idea is you take the front dot and you kind of look down the barrel and you rest the front dot in the bottom of the V. So the dot is touching uh, both sides of that V equally as you go. Well, the folks at XS kind of took that a step further into the, the 21st century, so to speak, and for handguns made a giant front dot. And I'm talking, I'd have to get the numbers, but think double the size of a standard you know, front size post, uh, you know, they put tritium in there and glow paint material and all that stuff. And a, again, a shallow ramp at the back with a vertical tritium bar right at the bottom of that V that kind of helps you line things up. So what's new from XS is the DXT2 series of sites. Same basic idea, you know, the V in the back with the, the vertical trit tritium bar and a a uh, tritium vial up front surrounded by, uh, you know, a glow material. It used to be orange. Uh, the new version, they're, they're offering that with a green, I'll call it glow paint for back of a better, lack of a better word, but it helps you with those transitional spaces when you're going from light to dark. And it's, you know, kind of that in-between zone where the tritium isn't really uh, bright yet. They've also changed the surface coating on these for better durability and, you know, longer life against corrosion and that. And they're using a black nitride finish now, which, as we all know, is very tough stuff. So uh, good news there. Um, the other thing, they've uh, they've improved the tritium dot itself. So a little brighter, uh, you know, more durable and, and that kind of thing. So uh, just like the old ones, the basic idea is you line them up, you know, dot in the V. And in this case, you can use that little vertical post on the rear side to, uh, to help go together. Now, here's the way uh, the big dot sights are supposed to work. As you're looking down the pistol and you've got the rear sight and the big dot up front lined up, uh, for closer range targets, you know, 5, 10, 15 yards, you shoot through the dot. You know, you just, you cover, uh, assuming alignment with the rear sight, you cover what you want to hit with the dot and fire. And that's where the, where the bullet's supposed to go. So I've done this uh, quite a bit. I have a, my eyes are, you can tell by my glasses, uh, getting a little aged. So standard post and notch sights are a little slower for me to pick up. So I have big dots on, let's just say more than a few <laughs> of, of my handguns. Uh, so I've done a lot of shooting through the dot at, uh, you know, defensive type ranges. And, you know, using a silhouette target with the interior head boxes and, and torso boxes, it's not really hard. Uh, to produce decent groups and keep shots on, you know, target in a definitely a precise enough fashion. Now, the whole benefit of this system is speed, you know, putting, setting that dot in the shallow V and shooting through it, especially with older eyes, is a lot faster. Your mileage may vary, but that's what I and a lot of other people have, have found. Now, here's here's the internet myth I want to touch on for a minute because I did a little science to, to check this out. Uh, you will see on the forums that there, there, you know, armchair warriors out there who will say, "Well, yeah, but when I'm in a running gunfight at 75 yards, I won't be able to hit a three by five index card, you know, with these sights because they're just too coarse, you know, to line up a precision shot." And kind of being very averse to internet hearsay, uh, hey, maybe right, maybe wrong, but I want to test these things rather than just take it at face value. So I did. <laughs> I took a, a, a Sig Legion. Uh, P229 pistol in nine millimeter I had standard post and notch sights from the factory. And I put it on a rest at 25 yards and I shot the best groups I could with, with my aging eyes. Now this gun, if you put it in a vice, it is plenty accurate. It'll shoot one plus inch groups all day long with my eyes at 25 yards. Uh, I got groups representative of this one, you know, it measures out 1.92 inches, which is a, a very nice five shot group for a, a semi-automatic pistol. And I said, well, let's take the same gun, knock the old sights off and install excess big dot sights. So I did that and repeated the exercise. Guess what? 
You line them up a little differently because the way the, the excess sights are designed is for longer targets, say 25 yards or more, you use a six o'clock hold using the top of the dot. So you put the dot in the V and the very top of the, the dot, you know, on, on the exterior of the sight body is your point of impact. And so that's what I did. Five shot groups at 25 yards. And guess what my group was? 1.89 inches, statistically the same as opposed to notch. Again, your mileage may vary. Uh, just wanting to repeat this scenario, uh, I did the same thing with a, a SIG P320 chambered in 357 SIG because I like it. And guess what? Same results. With the big dot, I was able to shoot sub two inch groups over iron big dot sights at 25 yards. So for me anyway, the lack of precision myth busted. Now, if you want to think of that a different way, um, you know, at, at shorter ranges, when you're shooting through the dot, that dot doesn't cover as much as you think it would. Uh, it covers, I'm going from memory here, but, you know, at 10 yards or so, it only covers an inch and a fraction. At 25 yards, I believe it covers about six inches of the target. Uh, so if we're talking defensive use, uh, that is, you know, more than enough to get the job done uh, for the vast majority of cases. So there you have it. New from XS Sites, the DXT2. Uh, they should be available today as we post this. So check them out. I think they're going to be available on uh, lots and lots of Glock models first. And then, you know, following their normal pattern, we'll start to see these things uh, pop up for Smith & Wessons and Springfield Armories and, and all the other folks out there. So if you enjoy this content, you want more Insider, uh, Go ahead and hit the like button and be sure and subscribe to this channel, FMG Pubs. And if you got something to say, you want to argue about sites, uh, put it in the comments. I'll be keeping my eyes open. Again, thanks and have a great day. Be safe out there. American Handgunner Insider.